No way. The ball Rex as well. Oh, oh man, look. From the Lost World. That's a big boy. Oh man, it's, I'm like a kid in the in a toy shop. So guys, I got a phone call from the London toy shop and he's just picked up all these boxes and said that I can go through them before anyone else. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take you on a little journey and we're gonna go through every single one of these boxes. So I'm on my way to view his pick up and see what he's got. He says he's got 17 boxes. How are we doing guys? Paul Toy Scaranger, thank you for viewing the video. Remember you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of that at Toy Scaranger. Let's see if I can find something that I want. Right, so I'm gonna take a look inside all of these boxes. Ah, oh, so that, that's from the new Jurassic Park. That goes with that. Where's the toilet? Ah, oh, here he is. I think they'll have that on the tour. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So when the T-Rex gets it, it knocks him off. Oh, wow. I'm like a kid. That's cool. That is actually really cool. That's, it's new, it's not vintage, but it's new. Like Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, Eddie Sattler, oh man, Edelophosaurus, I think I said that right, uh, a few raptures and um, some gallimines. Mate, that's good. That's a good one. That is good. Let's put that back in there. Look at that. Look at that. I've actually always wanted to look at one of these. This is the reissue of the Ghostbusters XO1. I want to see what the difference is from. So, like, first off, I can tell the feel of it is completely different to the original Kenner. It's a lot heavier, a lot, lot heavier. I wonder why. Maybe the plastic's different. Maybe they've got different chemicals to stop it from yellowing. That would probably be a big, big thing. Oh, I want to break them. That still opens up. You've still got your little ghost that goes in there. And then you still have the bit that goes on top. That's good. That's work. And then these are the these are reissue um, reissue Ghostbusters as well. You can tell 2020. That's the Green Ghost Slimer that moves on the reissue. It doesn't move on the original. Pop that there. And then there's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. He's a little bit smaller in in that size-wise there than the original. Obviously, it's marked not original, but it, the good thing about him is he's nice and white, which is really good. And then inside you've got all these, and these do feel completely different as well to the originals. And they're a little bit smaller as well. Their backs are different. The good thing there is, if you ever picked one up, you would know if it's a reissue or a original because of the back. That's cool. Let's get into another box. Star Wars stuff. Look at that. Bloody hell. You've got loads. Look at all of them. There's so many in there. R2D2, Yoda, Luke. You've got a Millennium Falcon in there as well. There's too much to get out in this one. I'm going to break anything. Go to the hut. I'm not going to get it all out, but I've got that as well. Tie, part of a TIE Fighter, the rest of the TIE Fighter bits in there. Millennium Falcon, which is the new version, but they've made it like the original because it's got the back section. Gotta break it. 
same inside as the original. You have the cardboard there, and then you have the little struts. And that's a that's a classic that is. And it looks a lot. I like vintage. But that looks a lot better than the vintage one. A lot better. Your word lightsaber battle. It's going to be one of my favourites because it's Jurassic Park and actually there's something in there that I've just seen that I really like, really, really like and I am collecting at the moment so if they're nice enough I might even grab it. Archer and Major Chip Hazard with all their accessories which is great. Excellent. That's really good. Oh man, I'm like a kid in the in a toy shop. That's my health. Alright. Oh, ter or pterodactyl, whatever you call them. So some of these are Jurassic Park and some of them are um, Lost World. And some of them are uh, Jurassic World. That's the gold part. No way. Paul Rex as well. Oh, oh man, look. From the Lost World. That's a big boy. So what happens is you get your little figure. Let's get Alan Grant. He just got eaten. Oh no, he's been eaten. Oh. He's inside. What'd you do? How'd you get him out? You get him outside. Are there? Classic Kenner. That's amazing. Ah, oh, I love these. This, this is this is my favourite box. I've got the Stegosaurus from the from the um, Lost World range as well. Ah. Oh. oh no! Another T Rex. That is so cool. That's the other T-Rex on Lost World. This is ma mainly Lost World. Um, really good. Really, really good. I've got a Sarah Hardin. Now, I've done a video recently on toy history on Jurassic Park, but I didn't include the Lost World in it. But if I ever did one, this is the kind of stuff that I would be adding. Sarah Hardin. Oh, you got more. I don't know the names of all the dinosaurs, unfortunately. Bike. Look at that guy already. That extends out there. Out there. Um, I'm buzzing with that. That's great. Oh, I'll just pick one of these up myself. His little leg is broken inside. Take that off. His poor little leg. Broke. That goes on there. Look at the size of him. Ah, oh, it moves. This is Jurassic Park 3. Man, that's crazy, this one. Oh, you've got the, got the ball, the man as well. Kevin, what are you doing to me? Oh my God, look at that. And he goes in the T-Rex. Do you know how much this is worth? This is a fortune. Absolute fortune. And that goes inside. But he can't go inside because of his... Oh, oh man. Roman Trem Temple. That's, it. that's even... You've got the variant of him. He's not actually that expensive. But that's the T-Rex Turner um, head. And they used him for Roland. Um, Peter Postleworth. I think his name is. Peter Postleworth. There's a lot of Jurassic Park 3 here as well. A bit of Jurassic Park 3 and Lost World. So, yeah, look at that. That's another Lost World. It's more Lost World. That's the Raptor from Lost World. It's actually the same cast as the original one, but it's a different colour paint. Um, on there, Dilophosaurus season two. Mate. I love it. I love it. That's what I want to look at because I am getting into my Power Rangers as well. Awesome. Command Center. Star Trek, isn't it? <laughs> Let me put some of this on the floor so I don't smash anything. That'll be the next thing. Could you imagine if I smashed everything? Look at 
that legacy. Yeah, that's all. That's great. Look at how cool that looks. And that looks much better than the um, than the vintage one. Like for a long kind of towel. Yep. So this is all the Star Trek. So you got Star Trek. Okay. Star Trek diorama thing. all from that. The little ones for micro machines. Nice and modern. Yeah. That's good. Right. Now for another Millennium Falcon. So what's that? Two Millennium Falcons so far? Really cool. That's a modern reissue um, turtle party wagon. Again, like I said with the Ghostbuster one, as soon as I pick that up, I can tell that it's a reissue. The plastic's completely different. It's like a more, not more tinny for some strange reason. It's got a, like a different feel to it. Still good. I won't be too long in this box, because it's easy. So you've got some carded Star Wars. Star Trek. Oh, sorry Star Wars fans. Sorry. Con. Yeah, so it's all new stuff. You got Spark, the originals. Classic phaser contains in this box. We've got no phaser in here. I wonder if there's phasers in other places. Must be. Energize. Excellent. Next one. Woo! Right, excited for this one as well. As well. Everything has batteries and everything. Everything has batteries and power now. That's good. You can't go wrong with TARDIS, can you? More TARDIS. Here we go. Power Rangers this is what I want to get. Power Rangers. That's cool. Okay. Superman. Megazord. That's the original Megazord. That's the one. It's the other one. That's the Zero one. Because of that and that. I find a lot of this kind of stuff at Comic Con. Man, that's cool. There are a few people that would jump at just looking at this stuff. Power Rangers, so these are the newer Power Rangers because you can tell by the shape that they're still pretty cool. White Ranger Saber. Question How did you play this wearing a helmet that doesn't have a mouth hole? that again loads more inside there and look at them no these are good it's all good and I sticker sheets sticker sheets not unused sticker sheets very important yeah good. great there's all these little bits I don't know if I've said it before in, in a video but if that was original original one that's the third issue because it's matte and it's also rounded so this first issue is chrome and it's spiked second issue is chrome and it's rounded because safety standards wouldn't allow a spike and then eventually they got rid of the chrome because it was costing too much and they were making too much money and they stuck the sword in 
like that on this map. It's a bit of information for you. Okay, that'll do me for four minutes, I suppose. Right, so we've got some Transformers. It looks like the new Transformers from the movie. Oh, they're really cool. Look at him. Optimus Prime, Ironhide. Oh, Jazz, Bumblebee, Megatron. All the names that I can remember, because I always get them wrong. Someone will probably comment and fix me. Oh, look at that. It's all the movie Transformers. They're really good, in really good condition as well. Not broken, they don't look like. Not all pieces. Like this. That would make such a good display. Put that back on there. Look at this. Not many people will remember this. I do. Space Precinct. Look at stuff. I've always wanted one of these. I didn't realise how big they were. Terrible TV show. But it just looks so good. Yes, I can that. Oh, okay. I wonder why then, but never quite found it. Robot Wars, Pat, Thunderbirds, really nice. Stingray, so a killer lot, and Matilda. Oh, yes, they're good, really good. I like them. I've never really been into Robot Wars, but I have to go back. So heavy. Oh. That's so cool. Tell me if they're in there. Are they in there? It's Han and Chewy. And I've broken it. No, I haven't. It's hot. Oh, that's so cool. We'll move that out of the way, though. Right. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, let's move him over here. Favourite things at the moment Jurassic Park and Power Rangers. And I don't know where to start. The bad guys, Lord Zed, the Piggy Dude, Goldar, Putty Man. You know, a lot of people that will be after this stuff. But all the mini ones from the Micro Machine line got the draft oh. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Power Rangers, this is, I'm collecting these at the moment. I'm collecting and I'm trying to get them where there's no, there's no yellow in, and there's no yellow in. Ninjas, Power Rangers Ninjas. To me, that is absolute classic Kenner. Look at that inside. Oh, Batman animated series. I used to get these and just to, just cry over them that I didn't ever have any of the figures and I wanted them all and I used to circle them all and now I've got quite a few of them Nerf starting line up and always at the back aliens and some sort of vehicle they usually had there we go there we go always a vehicle at the back you're telling me that there's going to be a compound in here somewhere it's going to be there it's the Jurassic Park compound and a capture copter a capture copter look at that I recently sold my one. Right. And then we've got these, which are cards that go with all of them. And I cannot pronounce that one, but it's a compi. Yeah, these are cool. Cool little cards. And Grant. So these are the original um, artist sketches that Kenner went along with. Oh, no way. There's a collector's card about Ian Malcolm. That means you have the loose. There's, the, there's going to be the loose Ian Malcolm in here somewhere from the series two. I'm going to have to buy that. I'm going to have to buy it. A loose one. Right. right. Okay. Too excited. I'm too excited. We're gonna move on to something else. So I said it's gonna be a compound, and then the compound is in here. And oh, look at that. Look at that. That. It's iconic. That is iconic. I mean, just for a display purpose, in a display, right? Like that with your dinosaurs in the. Oh man. It's so cool. That's from Kenner. So so cool. I've got one of these boxed, but because I've got it boxed, I've never ever got it out. Triceratops, and you've got Dino Damage, still working. I keep saying it, I'm like a kid in a candy shop, but 
it is a kid in a toy shop. It's kind of bringing back all those memories and just flooding my brain. Oh, Stegosaurus, that's the one I had when I was a kid. Real feel as well, none of this rubbish plastic that they've, they do now. Series two, Ian Malcolm. Series two, Ian Malcolm. You know, so you know, they never released him for series one. And then they decided, do you know what? We need to, we need to add, add him because he was more popular than people thought. Dennis Nedry looks nothing like Dennis Nedry, but he was my Ian Malcolm when I was younger. I always used him as Ian Malcolm because he had sunglasses on like Ian Malcolm. Let's come on to sound. He needs a new battery. You might, you've probably got here a, a full collection of the series one Jurassic Park. Um, looks to me. Bush Devil Tracker, my favorite. Please have batteries inside it. There's over a, there's over a hundred phrases with this in the original original command compound. More Velociraptors. Oh, screaming Raptor still screams. Brilliant. Classic Alan Grant. Green Jungle Explorer. And originally it was called the Jungle. Jungle Patrol, but they changed it because they didn't have the words Explorer on the box because Ford wouldn't let them use it. And then they got the license just as they released it and they changed the box to say Jungle Explorer. Jungle Patrol was the original. So if you've got a Jungle Patrol box, you're in the money. And that's it, and that's it, just all the, all the other little pieces. Look at that little patch. Your eggs, dino eggs. Excellent, excellent. Another box. Going this one. Come on. Bring the camera in here. Bring the camera. Come, come, come. Ready? What we got? Oh my days! More Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park three. A car from that. Oh, there's a Batmobile in there as well. Animated Batmobile. Lost World. Oh, Lost World. More Batman turtles. They're the reissue ones. You can tell, I can tell straight away because of the colours. And on the bottom of the foot, they've got the writing, but it doesn't matter, Raphael, Donatello, the whole set. So that would go with the party wagon, which we looked at earlier. Batman, I decided I wanted, I was going to do a Batman collection, and I decided against it. But that is the kind of thing that I would have in the collection. That's Batman and Robin, all of that. There's Robin, Bane, and Poison Ivy. More, I want to buy, I want to buy this stuff. But I want to buy it. Jim Carrey, that's the one that comes in the double pack, I think. Two Faces, Batman Forever. It's all very well kept neat together. Right, there's Christian Bale and the animated combat belt. Does he look complete? He looks complete. Very good, very, very good. This is a nice box of Batman. Really nice Batman. part of Jurassic Park that goes in the Lost World car. I'm not going to get all these out because they're gonna, I'm probably going to end up breaking some of them. But Batwing, iconic, iconic Batman animated Batmobile pops out like this. Like that. And has he got a bomb? He's got a bomb. Most important thing about that is to have the bomb. Dude, this is awesome. I always wanted one of these as a kid. It's got all the other pieces in there, but that's the Batman Forever Batmobile. My friend had this and I never had it. Very, very jealous. No, he's missing though. He's missing the first one. Unless it's in some of these other boxes. Like the tumblers. So take the tumbler down. Oh, it's safe, man. These are great. Really good. Really, really good. Guys, all of this is at the London Toy Shop in Enfield and Cruise Hill. And if I don't buy all of it, then come down quick because you're going to need to grab this because this stuff is going to go so quick because it is iconic, it's, it's just iconic, all of it, I'm blown away, I'm knackered, I'm actually knackered, well, right, I'm in shock as well, it's so good, been through that one, let's go through another one, right, ready, oh my god, serious, I've got Medi Center, T-Rex Medi Center, uh, Lost World Medi Center, I'm lost for words as well, right? look at that rancor, Star Wars, so in, in here, Oh, for... what are you doing to me, man? What are you doing to me? Come on, come on. If you know, like, I, know, I love Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. You've got, I can't remember what they're called. 
Go on. I'm going to take, take this out slowly. And there he is. So this guy gets injured and he gets fixed. He lays on there to be fixed. You've got a high hide. Hummer. No way. To sit. Do you know what? Seeing one of these in the UK. Oh, find one of these in the UK is so hard. Never ever held one of these before. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Be done. Be 50 quid for everything. It's low ball you're on that. All the capture gear. Never ever held one of these as well. Like I've always wanted to. As a kid, I even made one out of cardboard. Um, never ever got one. Look at that. For those of you who don't know, it's from the Lost World, and it comes with a little little girl. There she is. Ian Malcolm's daughter from another marriage. I think he was married a few times. It's the RV. It's even got the sound. Dude, I've got to. I've got to buy this. I'm gonna have to buy it. So cool. Or Alan Grant from Dress Park 3. Goes on the back of the Humvee. Like that. And it'll capture your dinosaur. Like that. I think Lost World, when they they did all the scenes with the raptors in the grass, those were the those were the ones that really took off for me. That I like Jurassic Park and then Jurassic World really kind of took it to another level. Great film. Right, there he is. Roland and he's got, he's got the bike as well. The Hunter, the great hunter. Bike. Going away. Another box. Man. Look at that, that's good. Enterprise, so this is obviously, oh man, look at these. Look at these dolls. Next generation um, fan. Wow. They're all the dolls from the certificates earlier with all the and the phasers in here that we saw. Look at them. They're in great condition. Nah. Wheaton! Will Wheaton. Drop the phaser, don't know. Definitely, this is all next generation. It's definitely cool. Look at the phasers! That one. All sound effects and these are actually unbelievable. I'm not a Star Trek fan. Massive, huge one. I used to watch it, but I don't know 100% about it. Still, man, look at all that. Cool. Really good. Six and that, Master Universe. It's all the new classic line. Pam four, Battle Cat. These guys are really cool. Really, actually, I do like these. You can still get them in the shops, brand new. But this, this is really good. And they've added, they added the cage on the Volta. They added the cage on it and uh, some He-Man battle, battle damage. Cool. They're not the vintage ones. They are the classic collection, but they're still good. You need a lot of room to display all this stuff. Right, last one. And I can see what it is. On the top, it says The Lord of the Rings, which, in my opinion, is one of the best films ever. Build a figure, Sauron. Argon. There he is. So cool. What to say? I'm literally, really, Gandalf, speechless, man. Seriously, there's so much. And uh, still. I can't do his voice anymore. Oh, forget my precious. Sneaker. So many, so, so many. You've got the whole lot in there. Look at that. Gimli and oh, Legolas. Some orcs. Oh, really good. Really, really good. I think that is all the boxes. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through things and I'm going to try and see if I want to buy anything, to be honest. But that's great. Right, so I'm back in the toy room after having a look through all those boxes. There was actually 17 boxes. I know I only filmed 16. Um, one of the boxes, I, when I first got there, I opened up straight away and it had Megazord, 
um, Dragonzord and Titanus in there and I actually managed to purchase these off of him and I've brought them home and put them in my cabinet. When they're all together in battle mode, it looks awesome. So I wanna say thank you to the London Toy Shop and Kevin for allowing me to go through the collection. I actually offered him double the money from what he paid for that collection, but he wasn't having any of it and he wanted to keep a lot of it for the shop. But what I did manage to pick up was this. So first I managed to pick up the Dennis Nedry from the Series 1 Jurassic Park. Um, I actually have him already, but I needed him with his um, accessories and he's, he's a nice, he's an awesome kind of figure to have. I always used him as Ian Malcolm when I was younger, always. It's pretty strange. And I, I know I'm not the only one who did that. One of the other things I managed to pick up was this Series 2 Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park range. I have this carded up there somewhere and I have it graded, but I haven't got him loose and he's a pain to find loose and really expensive to get him off of eBay. So to find him in England um, was a real bonus and I knew I just had to grab this one. Also, you would have seen that I said I was collecting them at the moment and I did manage to get a little deal and I got myself Major Chip Hazard with all of his accessories and I also got Archer from Small Soldiers um, these are really cool and they're going to go straight in my cabinet. They came with all the accessories so it was a nice little bonus to have all that. I also picked up a few Power Rangers bits of Megazord, Dragonzord and Titanus and some other ones like the Astro in Space and Delta Astro, loads of these really cool ones and the ones which were the Lightning Collection um, by Hasbro which is some others that I picked up as well. So remember guys, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, all at Toy Scavenger and buy the toys at thetoyscavenger.com. You can also buy the toys that you saw in the video at the London Toy Shop in Enfield, Cruise Hill. I do recommend going down there. It's a small store, but there is lots of little nooks and crannies and you can always find something really good in there. Remember to check out all my other videos and my playlists, uh, which you can probably see around about here or here at the moment. And remember to subscribe. Check out some of my other toy hunting videos because I've got lots for you to see. I've been Paul Toy Scavenger. Thank you for viewing and I'll see you soon.